Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making a delicious Dutch baby. So let's get started. First off, grab a 10 inch cast iron pan, and we're gonna pop this into the oven first so it gets nice and hot, and set that oven to 425. While it heats up, we'll do the rest. While everything gets nice and hot, we're gonna combine most of the ingredients in a blender. Think of a Dutch baby as a cross between a popover and a crepe. In the middle, so custardy and like just amazing and silky. On the outside, crisp and puffed up high, it's gonna be amazing. I only need half a cup or 60 grams of flour. Like crepes and popovers, almost no flour. Mostly like eggs and milk. It's like a custard with a flour to stabilize it. Hmm, perfect. I also want two tablespoons of sugar to give it a little bit of sweetness. One and two. One quarter teaspoon of salt for contrast. It's a nice pinch. I like mine extra salty. Half a cup or 120 mils of whole milk. And now I want three eggs, but I'm cracking those into a separate container because I do not want any shells in my Dutch baby. The name Dutch baby I find hilarious, by the way, because these are not Dutch pancakes. They're also not babies, <laughs> but here's the deal. Uh, these were being served in a restaurant in America and the guy who owned the restaurant altered the name from Deutsch babies, like Deutsch meaning German, to Dutch. So it was this mispronounced and it kind of stuck. And they were called babies because they were smaller versions, like little mini versions. If you haven't had these, they are so great because everyone loves like a pancake or a crepe or some amazing baked good in the morning, but nobody wants to do the work. <laughs> You're stuck at the stove while everyone else is having a nice time or waiting. These guys can be made, you make the batter in advance, and then this go into the oven and you divide them up like cake pieces. So everyone has a delicious piece, no fuss, no muss, super fast and easy too. That was three eggs. And also just one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna blend this up for 20 seconds and then just let it hang out. Like crepes and popovers, you can make this batter in advance and let it hang out in the fridge. It'll just relax, the flour will hydrate, everything will be happy, but you don't need that overnight time. Just a little bit will do. Pop the top on and we're gonna blend this on high for 20 seconds. There we go. All right, now this can hang out and just rest. If you're wondering, hmm, these pancakes might be missing something. The answer is butter, but I didn't forget the butter like I normally do. Then you're gonna have two tablespoons of butter right into that screaming hot pan. The butter will just kind of like fry the edge of the dough and give you some of that crispiness and it's gonna make things really delicious. Okay. In the meantime, just wait until your oven is nice and hot 425. Just like crepes or pancakes, you wanna have some delicious toppings. You might just have some berries and powdered sugar, a little drizzle of lemon juice, so many options. I wanna tell you about one of them because it can give you some problems. A lot of Dutch babies will have some cooked fruit worked into the batter, and while delicious, it really holds the batter down. It changes the bake time, and it also just won't let it puff up and have that wonderful texture. If you want cooked fruit, like a compote or something, just add it on top at the end, just like you would a crepe. Hmm. My oven's preheated, so we're gonna blend this for a few seconds right before pouring it, and make sure you grab at least one trivet. You do not wanna damage your countertops with that hot, hot skillet. All right, I also don't wanna damage my hands, so I'm gonna grab a uh, pot thing holder. Blend it up. Just a few seconds. Literally smoking hot. Ah, but don't touch that. Two tablespoons of butter. In you go. You're gonna swirl this just until the butter's melted. Ooh, delicious. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Melt, melt, melt. This is cold butter. Hmm. That's perfect. Now we're gonna pour the batter in. Look at those swirls of butter coming across. Beautiful. This goes back into the oven, 20 minutes. Don't let it get cold. 
if you don't have a blender or just don't feel like using it, you can also whisk this together by hand in a big bowl. Just give it a whisk until it's nice and smooth. Let it rest just like you would normally. And right before pouring it in, you might wanna give it one more whisk in case things have separated. Just like with the blender. All right, I think it's, <laughs> I bit my tongue, oh my God. I think it's time to pull this out. Let's see what it looks like. That is a Dutch baby rim. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Sometimes you have a full like shell on the outside, like a big ridge, and sometimes you'll have like an uneven puff. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be delicious either way. So this tastes nice, but it's time to dress things up. We're gonna add some powdered sugar, some berries. You could go all out and add an apple compote. You could add peaches, like any kind of thing that's delicious will be amazing on here. And you can even make savory Dutch babies too. Mm. And now this looks so beautiful when served with just mounds of berries. I love the fruit in addition to this custardy taste. Beautiful, I love the drama of how this puffs up and it's so easy to cut and serve. Mm. The middle is soft and silky like a thick crepe. The edge is crisp just like a popover and it is all around delicious. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and if you like this video, check out my breakfast playlist.